4. Quoting Earth Not a Globe by Samuel Robotham, it is known that the horizon at sea, whatever distance it may extend to the right and left of the observer on land, always appears as a straight line. The following experiment has been tried in various parts of the country. At Brighton, on a rising ground near the race course, two poles were affixed in the earth six yards apart and directly opposite the sea. Between these poles, a line was tightly stretched parallel to the horizon. From the center of the line, the view embraced not less than 20 miles on each side, making a distance of 40 miles. A vessel was observed sailing directly westwards. The line cut the rigging a little above the bulwarks, which it did for several hours or until the vessel had sailed the whole distance of 40 miles. The ship coming into view from the east would have to ascend an inclined plane for 20 miles until it arrived at the center of the arc, whence it would have to descend for the same distance. The square of 20 miles multiplied by 8 inches gives 266 feet as the amount the vessel would be below the line at the beginning and at the end of the 40 miles. 65. Also quoting Dr. Robotham. On a shore near Waterloo, a few miles to the north of Liverpool, a good telescope was fixed at an elevation of 6 feet above the water. It was directed to a large steamer just leaving the River Mercy and sailing out to Dublin. Gradually, the masthead of the receding vessel came nearer to the horizon, until, at length, after more than four hours had elapsed, it disappeared. The ordinary rate of sailing of the Dublin steamers was fully eight miles an hour, so that the vessel would be at least thirty-two miles distant when the masthead came to the horizon. The six feet of elevation of the telescope would require three miles to be deducted for convexity which would leave 29 miles, the square of which multiplied by 8 inches gives 560 feet, deducting 80 feet for the height of the main mast, and we find that, according to the doctrine of rotundity, the masthead of the outward-bound steamer should have been 480 feet below the horizon. Many other experiments of this kind have been made upon sea-going steamers, and always with results entirely incompatible with the theory that the Earth is a globe. 66. Dr. Robotham conducted several other experiments using telescopes, spirit levels, sextants, and theodolites, special precision instruments used for measuring angles in horizontal or vertical planes. By positioning them at equal heights, aimed at each other successively, he proved over and over the Earth to be perfectly flat for miles without a single inch of curvature. His findings caused quite a stir in the scientific community, and thanks to 30 years of his efforts, the shape of the Earth became a hot topic of debate around the turn of the 19th century.